Where would we be? What would we be doing? I should have listened. If I could have, should have, would have. Allah Almighty says, don't say that. Don't say that. Hear and obey and you don't have to say that. You will never say that if you hear and obey. Never ever will you be able to say that because you will be where you're supposed to be. You will be ahead of the turbulence. Above the turbulence. In front of the storm. Like Lut, the family of Lut. Like those who got out. The storm, the fire brim storm was coming down behind them. They was walking off from it. Why do you think Allah Almighty, why should he change? Allah never changes. We're the ones that change. We're the ones that flip, dip, and slip. Put everything before Allah other than Allah Almighty. Nothing else creates us. We didn't create ourselves. Shaitan didn't create us. The angels didn't create us. Our desires didn't create us. This world didn't create us. And yet we're giving our allegiance to the world and our desires and Shaitan. For what? That's foolish. We lost our minds. That's why we have to be awakened through that anger. That wrath has to awaken us. We're not changing. We're not changing. Bringing people to ourselves other than to Allah. To be seen of what? Another creation? We ask Allah's forgiveness here in the after. Um, Allah, that we can fight the I shed in the light of Allah, why shed in the light of Allah? Stuff Allah, stuff Allah, stuff Allah. Allah, I put 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 Alhamdulillah, bin Almi. Allah says, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. What kept men back from belief when guidance came to them? Was nothing but this, they said? Has Allah sent a man like us to be his apostle? Spam. Spam. That's how we think. Allah gonna send somebody like us to guide us. <coughs> they ain't even rich. That's always been like that. Who they who knows them? Nobody knows them. Allah knows them. And they know their Lord. And that's sufficient. That's sufficient. Yes, yeah, soon everyone will do. But we're getting an opportunity uh, to be those who uh, to first to know so that we may help others. That's why we're here. If we're not going to others like the prophets did, then it means we don't believe. We're only thinking of our self or selves. We don't believe enough to be excited to take it somewhere else. You tell somebody of some gossip, you make sure that everybody hears about the latest gossip. Whether you know him or not, be in the grocery store, you hear about so and so? You know, Taylor Wills was with all these people. What about your life? Who are you with? What are you doing for your Lord? Allah sends us guidance. We don't talk about that. Hey, do you know that Allah uh, is God? And we have to, as a people, we have to work together. We have to bring this situation to close in our communities. We have to stop all these killings in our community. We have to work together. No, we're not talking like that. We're not talking like that. We're talking nonsense. And that's why the difficulties and the wrath is coming on us. We have not seen anything yet. You think we're harm, being harmed now? Every time something happens, you must think, why did this happen to me? Even from a bird pooping on you somewhere, why did this happen? What did I do? A car hitting you. Twisting your ankle, hurting your finger, or anything, you must ask, what did I do? What happened? Those are just small warnings. Next thing, the whole earth is coming out from under us.
coming from under us, then piling on top of us. Then we're going to say, oh my Lord, help me. It's too late. Once the wrath is in motion and we have not repented, too late. Too late. You see a tree, anything, where the tree is growing and you have dead leaves, they fall off the tree. You see fine dead limbs, they fall off the tree. Everything that has no life, that's not functional, that's not using its purpose, is taken away. We become dead weight, and we were created to be a lot of servants, a lot of special people, and yet we're sitting idly by. Don't you know when you have the truth and you don't say it, it's like lying. We become liars. Who knows about Islam? Everybody knows about the basketball players. Everybody knows, see them on TV, they say, I'm a ball player or a singer. Say, you know me, I'm so-and-so. I'm the rapper. I'm this, that, and other. We could talk about everything that we are there. I work for this company. I work for that company. But who know that we are those people to help our people to come up? Where are the best people evolved for mankind? Where are the Muslims? Where are those surrendering, surrendering their will to Allah Almighty? We can't talk about it because we're not them. You can't say nothing that you're not. You have not trained and worked and been guided to be. Yet you go on your jobs and be trained to do, your, do that duty. You go to school and you're trained to be a doctor, lawyer, or whatever. And yet we don't need training to get to Allah Almighty, to the high life, to understand the unseen, to see the unseen, to be able to apply the unseen. We've lost our minds. Shaitan has really done his job well on us. And we allowed him to do it to us. So what's the complaint? Don't get pitiful. When the wrath comes, oh, help me, I'm so pitiful. When you had your strength, you were an adversary to Allah Almighty. Now when you're weak, now you want Allah's support so you can be strong again, to be an adversary again? I don't think so. Would you strengthen your adversaries? Would you strengthen your enemies? I don't think so. Allah is the creator of intelligence. There ain't no stupid God. We're the ones that are stupid. Thinking that Allah is stupid and Allah does not know. Allah knows everything that we do. Everything that we think before we even think it. He already knows. And Allah Almighty sends his special people, his servants, the prophets they knew. The inheritors of the prophets they know. How can they help us if they don't know? It is not them. They are weak. They are weak like anybody else. But their strength comes from their Lord. But we're not allowing our strength to come from our Lord. We're allowing our strength to come from our ego and from Shaitan and from this world. What we possess of money and fame, and we are powerful now. Do you think the president of Haiti could have stopped the, 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 uh, the earthquake? This is the president of the country. You think anybody... Any politician can stop the wrath of Allah Almighty? Only those whom Allah Almighty sends. They're the only ones. And it's Allah Almighty doing it through them. Not them themselves, because they're just as weak as anybody else without Allah. And they know that. That's their humility. Their humility is they humble themselves to their Lord and to guidance. And that's why Allah has established them in strength and power in the land. We don't get it yet. We really don't get it. We really don't. But I bet we get one of them blunts, though, won't we? We get some wine. We do some fornication. We do something decadent. We know how to do that. We know how to act a fool. But when Allah chastises with that, I was just playing. You was just playing? Well, play on. This ain't no joke. When Allah Almighty sent this here, that was real. When Allah Almighty took a sperm and an egg and created a human being out of that that had intelligence, had will, and had the ability to connect to him, that was serious than all get out. That was phenomenal. That's scary. That's scary. Who did that? Did you do that?